Alright you guys, let's take it to the limit one more time. I'm going to prove first of all using limits that a little knowledge is not a dangerous thing. You've probably heard the expression that little knowledge is a dangerous thing, well it's not true. And the other day I reworded, I said a little knowledge is a safe thing, which means you know, more or less the same thing. Or you could say, I'm going to prove that learning is pointless. You know, so what are we all doing here? Well, I guess you're here because nowadays kids like to do things that are pointless. Learning, you know, it's pointless. Proof. If you know physics, you know that power is work divided by time. Time. Very good. But as we've said before, time is money. And by the way, do you know the difference between this symbol and this symbol? Canadian American. Yes, which one's the American? Yes, this is the American one. This is the Canadian symbol. I guess we just had to be different. Do you know where that came from in the United States, though? They thought it looked richer. They thought it looked richer, maybe. <laughs> no, it came from U with S superimposed on it for United States. Uh, and, then, and then it just sort of got changed into that. So don't write this unless you're American. Write it like this. Where did the Canada from? I guess we just copied them. <laughs> <laughs> Made a little change. SI. And knowledge is power, so we can change this to knowledge and that's work. If I rearrange this to solve for money, I get money equals what? Work divided by knowledge. Right. I shouldn't have given you the division sign in case you messed up. Work divided by knowledge. So let's take the limit of money as knowledge approaches zero. In other words, a little knowledge. Well, that's equal to the limit as knowledge approaches zero of work divided by knowledge. What's that equal to? Undefined? We don't say undefined for limits, we say? Does not exist. Does not exist. In other words, it's infinity. You will make an infinite amount of money, amount of money if you know nothing. <laughs> so learning is pointless, a little knowledge is not a dangerous thing. But there's one criteria or exemption or restriction here. The work cannot equal what? Zero. Cannot equal zero because if it's equal to zero, you get zero over zero, which is? No, zero divided by zero is not zero. What's zero divided by zero? Uh, undefined. Not undefined. Zero indeterminate. Oh. So do a little bit of work. And then if you have essentially no knowledge, you can be a multimillionaire. <laughs> or at least fake it. Pretend you look make it look like you're doing a little bit of work. Okay, a couple other proofs. What's this or a couple other limits I should say. What's this limit? The limit as x approaches zero of L X V E. Obviously. Uh, oh, very good. <laughs> But that's not the mathematical answer, that's the, you know, the English answer. Mathematically, Zero. it's, no, less than three. <laughs> right? Because that's a heart. Uh, <laughs> so the limit of LXV e as x approaches zero is less than three. How about this one? The limit as x approaches H of hugs and kisses. Which ones are the hugs? I think the kisses are the X's, so the hugs yeah. are the, the hugs are the O's, I think. Anyway, what's the limit? Ho, 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 ho. Well, that's, <laughs> that's the English answer. What the mathematical answer? Sign No. How cute. <laughs> Got, gotta have brackets, otherwise only the O is cute. And yes, Santa. So there you have it. Remember those limits. Thank you, Alana.